like tonight. We should be hitting the Canton streets celebrating another Oriole victory. But instead, we're turning to remember a man who was murdered, chasing after people who had stolen his nephew's car. WMER 2 News Ashley McDowell was at tonight's vigil for Daryl Benner. Well, Kelly and Jamie, it's been one week since Daryl Benner was killed. And tonight, many people fill the street to pay the respect and state they just want justice. Vicki Benner held her candle close, tears streaming down her face as she watched those gathered in front of her home, remembering the life of her husband, Daryl Benner, who was shot and killed during a robbery. Just remember, I will always love you forever. Forever. Those close to him say he is remembered for his love and humor. Daryl loved everybody, knew everybody. He'd walk by you and say, hello, how you doing? Or say something silly about a ball game or a football game. And who's winning, who's not winning. Daryl was, he was so nice and always wanted to talk and have conversation and learn about us. It was after midnight on August 18th when Benner's nephew stepped outside on South Curly Street to move his new car. That's when three men robbed him for the red Dodge Charger. 57-year-old Benner confronted the carjackers with a BB gun. I was getting ready to go to bed and I heard pop, 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 pop. And I had asked someone, who, what was that? And they're like, it was gunshots. Benner was shot and killed. He spent his last moments with his nephew who he was trying to protect. I, yes, I found him and, you know, I held him in my lap as he slowly passed. Those close to him call on the city tonight to do more so that these tragedies don't keep happening tomorrow. Nobody should have to stand here with candles and cry over a loved one for a needless death. And you know what? Tomorrow's paper, there'll be someone else going through this because Baltimore politicians don't give a shit. As for the three men from that night. I want them caught. I want this. I want justice for my husband because it was a unsenseless murder. He, all he had was a stupid BB gun. Crime Stoppers is offering an $8,000 reward to anyone with information on the murder. Church on the Square has set up a site to help his wife Vicki with the funeral costs and bills during this devastating time. If you would like to donate, head to our website, WMAR2news.com for a link.